This movie describes how to use the activity dynamic number grids, multiples and patterns. Here we have our dynamic number grid. It shows all the numbers from 1 through 120, and we're going to color certain numbers orange, that are multiples of 3, and other numbers blue, that are multiples of 4. I'll start by pressing Show Orange Multiples. We begin to see the multiples of 3 appear in the grid, and if I press this button again, the skip counting stops, and we can ask students to predict, based on what they see here, what other numbers in the grid will be multiples of 3. In fact, we might also ask, what is the largest number in the grid that will be shaded orange and is a multiple of 3? I'm going to clear this pattern. I could let it run until the end, but I'd like to press Show Both Multiples. This will show both multiples of 3 and 4 simultaneously. Let's watch what happens. Hmm, that's interesting. Notice that the 12 is shaded half orange and half blue. That's because 12 is the least common multiple of 3 and 4, so it's a multiple of both numbers. In fact, we see here that there are other numbers that have two color shadings. 24, 36, 48. These are all multiples of 3 and 4, so they're shaded half orange, half blue. Right now, these multiples, 12, 24, 36, are scattered through the grid. Could we arrange our numbers so that we see all of these common multiples in a single column? Well, right now we have 10 columns, and since this is a dynamic grid, we're able to change its size. So I'm going to change this 10 to a 12, and when I click outside the box, I now have 12 columns, and I see that all of my common multiples, starting with the least common multiple, are shaded half orange, half blue. Let's suppose that I'd like to study some multiples other than 3 and 4. Well, that's easy enough. I'm going to change my 3 to a 5, and when I do so and click outside the box, I now see that I'm looking at multiples of 5 and 4, and I see that the least common multiple of 4 and 5 is 20. If I'd like to change the columns, I can either type in a number, or I can select columns, and on my keyboard I can use the minus key to reduce the number of columns, and I can use the plus key to add more columns. So we have here a truly dynamic grid. We can view multiples of two different numbers simultaneously, and we can change the numbers of rows and columns.